In this tutorial we're going to make some handwritten animated text that looks like it's being written out across the screen. I used this technique in a couple math explainer videos for the University of Maryland. Uh, I put links to them down in the description below. Check them out. They uh, are mostly on topics of geometry, uh, specifically geometry for applications of computer graphics. Okay, so let's get started making our little animated text clip here. So we've got a fresh uh, project in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and delete the default cube. Uh, we can leave the light and the, uh, the camera in place for now. Uh, we're going to go hit 7 on the keypad to go into the top orthographic view. Uh, now you can do this technically from any view, but this is going to line it up sort of with our ground plane, uh, you could say, uh, with that XY plane there. Since these are essentially three-dimensional objects, you can have them sort of skewed at any which way you like. So this is just going to sort of make it so we are writing on our flat uh, XY plane. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Add, and then you're going to choose Grease Pencil, and you're going to choose Blank. Okay, and so that's going to add a new object up here. And so we need to go into Draw Mode, so go up here, choose Draw Mode. And now we can uh, actually draw on the screen. I'm just clicking the mouse and dragging. Uh, I'm going to control Z to get rid of that. So I'm going to make some changes just uh, up here just to show you uh, some stuff that you have options on. So this strength is how opaque your stroke is. And so if you have, uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase the radius so it's a little easier to see. So let's set that to 50. Let's see if that's big enough. Okay. Uh, and you can see that when two lines intersect, you can see that it's a little bit darker there because uh, the, you're only putting like 60% of the uh, sort of the pigment, quote unquote, onto your uh, virtual canvas here. So I'll control Z to get rid of those. And for what we're doing, we, kind of, we want it to be completely opaque. So I'm gonna just increase the strength to one. And this way it draws a completely opaque uh, stroke. So. Uh, for this, I want to use a white text because I'm going to use a black background. I think that is a little bit easier on the eyes. Uh, when I do my videos, I'll usually do uh, a black background with either colored text or white text. Uh, so we're going to go over to the Materials tab here, and it defaults to black. So we're just going to change our base color over here to white, and then we can just rename this white. And that's pretty much all we need to do right here, right now, um, for this particular application. So I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit. Just give us a little more space to, uh, to work with. And then we just start to, uh, to write the text we want to write. And so I'm just going to write tutorial text, just since that's something simple. And so you're creating your own font here, in, in a sense. And so if you're using like a tablet, uh, you could mimic your own handwriting. I'm just using my mouse. And then I'm going to go back into object mode. And we can now move this around just like it's any other 3D object. So I'm just going to center this up on our axis here. And then I'm going to add a second one. So we'll go to Grease Pencil, Blank, and then we'll go over to the Material, and we're going to set that to White. And now we'll go into Draw Mode, and we'll throw some more text in there. I just want to show you, you can make adjustments to the strokes that you've put down by going into Edit Mode, and then hit A, you can see the little points here, those can all be manipulated to, uh, to make your text uh, a little bit sharper, a little bit uh, snazzier. So for example, I'm just going to move the lowercase t at the end. Uh, to do that, I'm going to hit C on the keyboard, and this is the, uh, the circle select, and then I'm just going to go in and select all the points that make up our T. Then I'll right click to dismiss the tool. And then I'm just going to use our standard transform tools here. And I'm just going to move this down so that it's a little bit more in line with that E there. I think that better. Uh, and so now we just click away to deselect. And we're going to go back into object mode. And so now we've got our tutorial text. We've got two grease pencil elements in here. 
and now we're going to set it up so that it will actually write out the text for us. So it remembers the order in which those dots that we saw in the edit mode, it remembers the order in which those are sort of placed down on the canvas. Uh, and then we're going to use a build modifier in order to uh, have it go sort of point by point and build out the, uh, the thing we wrote. So with uh, the first piece of text selected, go over to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and then you're going to choose build. So the frames are the number of frames that it's going to take for it to build up the entire piece of text. So if we go and scrub through, you'll see the effect. And you'll see that it finishes at frame 100. Now let's make that a little bit faster. Uh, since I usually work in 24 frames per second, let's make this two seconds. So we're going to make this uh, 48 frames. And then I don't want it to start immediately on frame one. So let's delay this one second into the video. And now let's do that on the second piece of text. All right, so you can see it sort of build up as we, uh, we scrub through. Now let's choose the second piece of text. Uh, we want to go back to the first frame again because we're going to add a modifier, build, and then we want the, uh, the frames. This is a much smaller piece of text, so I'm going to set that to 24. And then we want it to start right a little bit after the first one finishes. So let's find out where that happens. Here we are. So let's go to like frame 80 and have it start there. So there's just a slight delay. Back to the beginning. Let's play that. Great. So there you go. That's how uh, you can use grease pencil and a build modifier to have a little effect where text writes itself out on the screen as if it's handwriting.